Hello and welcome to Campus News brought to you by VU TV. I'm your host Prithvi Raj and the situation of this country right now as we speak is terrible. It's terrible guys. What's happening right now is unfathomable. There are people who are dying because of oxygen deprivation. The second wave of COVID-19 pandemic has brought with it a force never seen before. It's a phenomenon we had never experienced before because what happened last year is nothing like what's happening right now. I urge each and every one of you to kindly stay at your homes. If you can afford to stay at your homes right now, please stay at your homes. Protect yourselves as well as your near and dear ones. Everyone around you, protect them. Because we are not aware of the ground reality. We don't know as to how patients are being treated in hospitals right now. Because quite literally all the major hospitals in all the cities are crammed with COVID-19 patients. Are literally crammed. Some people are even dying on the streets. It's a ground reality that we do not, we do not want to be in. But it's going on right now. Prime Minister recently held a meeting with all the chief ministers and the one glaring issue that was discussed elaborately was the oxygen deficit issues. Serious oxygen deficit issue. National capital Delhi is now faced with it. In fact, the chief minister of Delhi, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, was seen sticking both his hands out and quite literally begging for oxygen tankers to be sent to different hospitals of Delhi. Sure, many states came forward to help, but that's the gravity of the situation, guys. So stay put, stay contained at your homes. On that note, let's get started with this week's Campus News. Let's know everything that happened this week on Campus News. All right, the vaccination drive 2.0 is all set to begin on May 1st. The first drive began in the month of January, but this time around, everyone who is over 18 is eligible to get vaccinated. So we urge everyone to get registered as quickly as possible. The registrations have begun as we speak right now. So register yourselves and get vaccinated as quickly as possible. We had informed you earlier about the examination debate, the ongoing examination debate with all the states. Many states had either postponed or called their examinations off. In fact, we now learn that almost every state in this country has decided to do so. Ministry of Education says that 10th and 12th standard board examinations from next year onwards will be held twice a year. Yes, it will be bifurcated, much to everyone's respite as the ministry claims. Uh, the focus will now be on core competencies of subjects. Mr. Amri Shai, Indian right to education activist, recently fell prey and succumbed to COVID-19. He was known for his fervent opposition to online mode of education, where he believed that it cannot accommodate each and every student in the pool. Union Education Minister Mr. Ramesh Pokhriyal recently released a toll-free national number for students to share their plights and concerns during this hour. Ikram Khan, a scientist from IIT Madras and the founder of Ismo Photonics, has developed a low-cost 3D printing system that is known to create mini brain organoids. Now, these organoids mimic how our brain functions. All right, it's now time for some sports news on the campus news. This week, we have some news from Fencing Arcade. Uh, fencing, a sport that was earlier reserved for sturdy Tommies and aristocrats of Europe. We now learn that it's gradually plucking talent from rural parts of India. Uh, several fencing talents from India, from the rural parts, are all set to go to Tashkent and Uzbekistan this week for the last Olympic qualifying tournament. All right, it's now time for the picture of the week on the campus news. This week's picture is pretty special. Uh, it shows a father from Rajasthan uh, giving his newborn daughter a grand welcome in an helicopter. Yes, he welcomes his daughter uh, to the hinterland of Rajasthan. He brings her home uh, through an helicopter. Now, this comes on the cusp of a land where we know very well know the history and uh, the troglodyte traditional values which have never been pleasant for girl children. Uh, and here we have a man who's breaking the ties, who's breaking these core rigid values and giving his daughter, his newborn daughter, a grand welcome. Take a look.
All right, it's now time for the video of the week. Once again, we have a video that breaks the traditional barriers. We can see uh, a newlywed bride in her elaborate wedding attire. She can be seen in the video driving her car with her groom, with her newlywed husband sitting right beside her and they both can be seen waving at their parents. This is a one-off because we had never seen something like this before. Take a look at the video only on Campus News. Okay, that was it from this week's episode of the Campus News brought to you by VU TV. For the next few days, please stay at home, stay care, and uh, until next time.